guys, welcome to Man Cave Tuesday. Hope everybody had a fantastic week. Now, what we've got going on tonight is uh, we, get a, we get a sticker all the way from the US. So that's uh, going on over on the map, over in the stable. We Now, we're going to do that talk about um, the dual sport or adventure. What bikes what. So I'm kicking that off and I'll explain that we're going to kick it off into another thing. But you'll see that when it comes up. Um, and the stable gets a new canopy, so you'll see me ripping down the bloody old canopy. Oh, there's a big... When you're watching that, look out for a huge bang, and then you'll understand, we find out what it is. Uh, but anyway, I'll rip that down, put up the new one, put it all on. All right, that's about it. Let's, uh, let's get into that discussion about the dual sport uh, adventure bike thingy out there in the workshop. Alright guys, so following on from last week's Man Cave Tuesday, I talked about um, the dual sport or adventure bike. Where do, the, where, do, where do you guys reckon the bikes fit in? So I've created this elaborate board and um, so out of all the comments from last week, everybody put up you know, what they thought were dual sport, what they thought were adventure and I've now printed all these out and put them up there in the respective spots. Now obviously that's not all the bikes, we're going to shoot this video out into its own video, it might end up being a little series or whatever, bringing Alistair in, he's going to be here at the man cave with me, discussing it, hopefully we can get some other people in on it, whether that's you know, having uh, Skype, Skype them into the bloody video or whatever, um, it's always you know, the more people, the more bloody uh, thoughts and whatever I think is a good thing, not just what I think because I don't know bloody that much stuff. So there you go, and what we're going to do is add in all the bikes that are on the market. Now, I've got, I'll put my short lookers on. I've just printed out a couple of comments. Uh, BBL Adventure would love to give you an adventure bike suggestion, but they stopped making the KTM 1190 um, Adventure R. Well, I've actually whacked that one in there. So I said about not having, um, if, they don't, if they don't make it anymore, um, we're not going to put it up there. We might make little allowances here and there. This is not rocket science, science bloody stuff. So I'm putting that one up there. There's most probably heaps still about and plenty of secondhand stock and all that kind of shit. You know, yeah. All right. Bongo Dave. KDM makes lots of both. Shit, yeah, they do. Uh, single cylinder DS, two cylinder adventure bike, question mark. I don't know how that helps us, but bloody good on you, mate. Uh, Mr. Poppycock, uh, that's Brad, DRZ400 is both, trust me, it's exclamation mark, question mark. Um, that brings me to, yeah, you're right, I mean, <laughs> any bike can be an adventure bike, it just depends on how you look at it, and yeah, it can be an adventure, <sighs> Johnny said um, Honda CT110, which is what I've put up over here. I'm going to rip that down like that because in this case that's not an adventure bike. You can have adventures on it but it's not what we classify or what they classify or what I'm reckon or what we work out. It's not It's not an adventure bike. The classification. Now Annie White who's not a female, it's a male, I can't remember your name man. Um, but anyway he says my, my two cents worth any bike is an adventure, even a pasty bike. We've just covered that bit. Um, back in the, he goes on and on. There was an interesting bit that he put. Always an interesting topic, but really, in my opinion, the big adventure tourers um, have just taken over from the likes of Triumph Trophy, BMW LT Series, and so forth. Bit funny when you think back to the early days of the Honda Africa Twin and original Yamaha 600 Tenere, even the BMW 800 Paris Dakar, they sold in such low numbers in Australia. Then a Scott and a Pom went the long way round and the adventure craze went mad. And absolutely it did, and I reckon bloody good on them for doing it too, because it's just brought this whole adventure market, dual sport adventure. Just getting on the bike, getting out into the back roads, into the outback, and, uh, and having, having bloody adventures on them. I reckon that's fantastic. And the more people bloody doing that shit, I reckon it's fantastic. 
There's another one on here, the Suzuki DR200, which here in Australia is called a Trojan. It's more of a like an ag type of bike. It doesn't come road registrable as I understand it. I don't know whether you can change that and then register it. Um, it's got a top speed of like 105 kilometers an hour. Um, so sitting on the highway, I think, I don't know whether that's its top, top speed. Um, I don't think you'd be comfortable sitting, you know, revving the absolute at the limit on a highway. That's just not a plausible dual sport bike. It needs to be able to do both fairly decently. Um, in my opinion, we may, it, it may come back. I don't know. I've got to talk with the guys, you guys commenting, whatever. All right. So, now there are things like the AJP PR7, we've got that in the Dual Sport, we've got it in the Adventure, same with the V-Strom 650, I think, yep, that's in the Dual Sport and the Adventure. Hopefully what we're going to do is work out really where, does, where do we think it bloody sits. Alright, I'm not going to crap on anymore, I'm going to leave the rest of it, so we're going to nut down, explain to you guys, you guys explain back to us why you think we shouldn't be saying what we're saying. Um, all right, I'll leave it for the next one when Alistair's here and whoever else we can get involved. All right, guys, back to the man cave. All right, guys, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to play you guys an advert that I've made up to go in the videos. Now, it's only 30 seconds, and it's just explaining all the bits and pieces because I get lots of emails um, and messages and asking things that are all in the description uh, in each video, it has links to how to contact us, where to send the Man Cave Tuesday, uh, the stickers, um, that international guys can buy stickers and patches and all that kind of stuff, and everything's in there. All you've got to do is click on that more, you'll see, here's the ad. Check out the Worldwide Man Cave Shop, it's where you international guys can buy our stickers and patches and bits and pieces. If you want to help support the Biker Bits channel, check out our Patreon page and become part of the Keep On Riding crew. Prefer to leave us a tip? No worries, just do it at the Man Cave tip jar and don't forget, leave us a message. Why not check out the Biker Bits Australia website, got heaps of bloody cool products on there. Sorry, we don't do international delivery though. Just click on the show more, all that little triangle, and I'll show you all the info and links to all this stuff. Thanks guys. Alright guys, so how was that? Was that over the top? Can you live with seeing that 30 seconds in between all the, um, in, in the videos that I put out? Let me know whether I'm a wanker or not a wanker or I'm selling out or I'm not selling out or whatever. All right, let's get over to the stables and uh, do the sticker. All right, guys, we've got a bloody sticker. And it's come from the United States, Colorado. Got a ride up, picture of a bike. Check that out. And of course, a sticker. Short look is on. What do we got? Hi, Mark. I'm Brian from Colorado Springs, Colorado in the USA, and I just wanted to say that I love your videos. I look forward to every single one, and they always make my day. I ride a 2016 WR250R. It's been all over a lot of roads and trails all around the state, and I'm looking at adding a C50 to my garage as well. I appreciate all your time and effort you put into your videos, and I hope you will continue them for a long time to come. Hopefully sometime in the future I'll be able to make it down your way, maybe do a ride with you. Well, since I'm not much of a talker, I'll leave you with this. Keep on riding. Um, P.S. Love all the wood working that Nay does tell her she's very talented. Absolutely, and yes, she is. Cool. Now, let's get this sticker up. Actually, this uh, Colorado, that's actually going to put us right in the middle of the USA. Bloody hell, we're running out of space. Rightio, here is the sticker and United States and Colorado, I believe. Oh, where are you? There you are, Colorado Springs, right there. Look at that, right in the middle. Thanks heaps, Brian. We'll whack that uh, picture over in the man cave. All right, now I actually had to get the <clears throat> packaging tape onto this one. It's up here, out of the way of that. There it is there, and I've written on it obviously. Stuck on there well, never coming off. <laughs> Good thanks, thanks Brian. All right guys, so now it's time to get the canopy on the stable. Remember, keep a listen out for that big bang, you won't miss it, here you go. All right guys, so I've got to see if I can put this new bloody canopy on.
getting there. Something just went, I don't know if you guys heard that on the video. That was one hell of a smash. Bang, I don't know what that was. Cool. Well, hopefully if it was a smash on the road, hopefully they're all right. Sure we'll hear a siren soon. Nothing I can do, that's a very busy area over there. Did you hear that smash? That big bang noise? Yeah, what was it? I don't know. Freak me out, I don't want to hurt it. <laughs> Nays just come out from inside because she could hear that inside. Crazy. There you go, done. Perfect. <laughs> well that adds a whole new light to the, uh, to the stable, doesn't it? <laughs> All right, now I've got to get this uh, other bit on. All right guys, me and they just quickly drove over to have a look what happened over there. It was a traffic accident. As you can see, we got a quick bit of footage. We didn't stick around because I don't like hanging around and just let people get on doing what they've got to do. Um, but obviously the noise was the, the truck, that dump truck thing, it was empty. And when they've smashed, there's two cars that it looks like it's smashed into it. And that's echoed in that, uh, that big dump truck. All right, back to doing this. Hopefully, uh, everybody, or hopefully everybody's all right. Bloody hot work. Oh, just about done. <sighs> that corner on the other side just started to tear a little bit because it was really, really tight. But I should be able to loosen all that. Okay, I'll stop this now. Righty, -o, guys, well, there you go. It is up, it's on. I'll go and show you that corner where it's torn a little bit. I think that's going to be fine. Now, the major problem I see where I went wrong is I had these sitting out here in the dead of cold. It's winter here in Australia. Um, so there's no give in that uh, that uh, vinyl stuff. If I had have taken um, these things, if I had have had these sitting inside in the nice warm, uh, it might have had a bit more stretch. And instead of, um, instead of the stitching uh, ripping, there would have been more um, give in the actual material. Anyway. Yeah, so oh, there we go. There you go. That's where it's torn. It's torn on here. And of course, I've got all this wood stuff. So this, yeah, you know, it's not exactly square. So I'll tie this off here just to, to to hold that for the moment. But other than that, everything else looks not too bad. 
I was thinking like, if, I ha- if I was bloody, if I had been smart, I could have uh, got a table in here, put the gas heaters on top of that so that all the hot air would have been going up into there and that would have helped um, uh, that stuff to stretch a little bit instead of tearing the corner. So when I go to do this one over here, uh, that's what I'll do with that one there. But I'm not having a go at that at the moment. I'll just pack all this stuff up. As a side note, that uh, accident that happened over there it came up on our uh, local paper's uh, website. Um, what happened was there was a car that had, it was in the centre lane, there's a dual, dual lane, that pulled up to turn uh, across traffic into a side street. The truck was coming and just rammed him up the, up the backside and pushed him into oncoming traffic. So there was two cars plus that truck. Um, one guy's been, the guy in the youth's been taken to the hospital, but uh, should be okay. All right, cool, back to the man cave. All right guys, that's another man cave Tuesday done and dusted. Hope you enjoyed it. Now, what's coming up? So today's Tuesday, Wednesday, you'll, we'll have a video coming up. Excuse me, dog. Ugh. What are you doing? What are you doing? Oh yeah, she's a, she's a troublemaker. Now I was saying that uh, Wednesday, 6 p.m., a video is gonna pop out. It's um, motorcycle boots, but which aren't motorcycle boots. It's my steel, uh, steel blue ones, the ones that you see that uh, my pants go into. That's coming out because someone asked about a review and I get asked about them all the time. So I finally do a review after six years of owning them. Uh, and then, I've got another six years. You'll see the video. Um, then on Thursday, what have we got Thursday? I oh, know there's another one coming. Oh, th oh, Thursday, yeah. Shoot Easy Motorcycle Camp Cooking because part of that Patreon uh, stuff, one of the reward, uh, reward goal levels was $250, which we're over now, we're over just over $300, was that every month I'd put out a uh, Shoot Easy Motorcycle Camp Cooking. So uh, this Thursday is that one, so for the next month that's coming out and it's scrambled eggs on toast out at the shack. Um, and then hopefully on Friday, we're gonna have um, the best way to keep warm, because see, it's, it's winter here. <sighs> There's not much coming out. Um, it's winter here, it's bloody cold. And uh, so it's got, had me bloody brain running around. And so like when you're in a tent or, whatever you're in with a sleeping bag and things that you can do and things to, sometimes you can think to do something and, it, and, it's, and it's not exactly right just it, but that's what I'm going to do all right on Friday that should be there cool all right guys keep on riding and if you ain't riding keep on keeping on